Hey guys, what's up? So today I have a new video for you guys and that is going to be the What is on my iPhone 2017. I've never done this video before but I've seen a lot of them going around on YouTube so I decided to try it out myself. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and if you've never seen my channel before but you enjoy it then be sure to subscribe down below for new videos every Saturday. And without further ado, let's just get straight on into what is on my iPhone. So, I have the iPhone 5 currently, which I know like everyone has like the 6 and 7, but honestly, I don't really care because the iPhone 5 pretty much does the same as like all the other ones, except for a couple different things. But I've had this for two years, and honestly, the other iPhones are just like way too much money, so this works fine for me. And then the case that I have is actually my brother's. Um, it was a black case, and he put stickers on it. There's a little one here that I actually put on my upside down. So it's supposed to say LA, but it's upside down. Let's just get on into the phone. So my screensaver is just me and my cousin. And then when you first open my phone, the first little folder I have is photography. So I just have photos, camera, and then I have my Instagram, which if you guys aren't following me, it's the same as my YouTube channel, so you should follow me there. And I have Photo Grid, which is basically an app where like you can put your pictures in like a collage or something. Then I have Pinterest, and I mostly use this for like baking videos, other stuff like that. I really like that. And then I have Video Star, which is like a music video app, basically. You can like make a music video on it and everything like that. It's actually pretty cool. Then I have Boomerang, but like I rarely ever use it. I've only used it a couple times. And then I have Fonto, which if I want to put text on a picture, I can do that. And then I have VSCO, or like Visco Cam, and that is what I use to edit all my Instagram pictures. It's a really cool app. It has a lot of like filters and stuff, and I know a lot of other people use it too, so it's really good, and I'm pretty sure that it's free. And the other one that I have is Afterlight, which I also really like. It has some other cool features. It doesn't have as much like filters and stuff, but I really like this one. I think it costs $2.00. So yeah, both of those apps I will use sometimes to edit my pictures. The next one that I have is just music and just has iTunes, music, TV, podcasts, all that boring stuff. Then I have a phone folder which has FaceTime, phone, and contacts. And then I just have like all this random stuff to use. Like it's basically just the apps that like I never use but I can't delete off my phone. And then I have a couple of games. I have 2048 which is my favorite game ever. That's like pretty much the only game that I actually play on my phone. Um, I play that literally all the time whenever I'm bored and I just need a game to play. Then I also have a Dev Smash, and I haven't used this app in a long time, but I used to use it a lot. It's basically have a ton of like different quotes or anything like that, and you can like say it to yourself. I don't know how to describe it really. It's kind of like musically, but it's a little bit different. Then I have Duolingo, and I haven't used this app in a really long time because I'm actually taking Spanish at school, but when I wasn't, um, I was learning Spanish on this app. It's a really cool app. It teaches you how to speak any language that you want, so I definitely recommend it if you're looking into speaking a language. Then the next two apps my brother actually downloaded on my phone. It's Minecraft and Subway Surfers, which I never really play, but I just have them there if ever he wants to play on my phone. Then I have entertainment. I have my YouTube app, which I use like basically every single day. I also have Netflix, which I don't use a ton on my phone, but sometimes we'll watch it there. Anyways, um, the next thing that I have is news, which again, I rarely ever use. And then I have my Bible app, which has like, it's basically just the Bible on your phone. And I have Sonos because in my what I got for Christmas, I forgot to show you, but I got the Sonos for Christmas for our room. So basically we have four systems in our house and you can control everything with your phone and put whatever music you want in whatever room and anything like that. It's really cool if you have the speakers then you just download the app. And you can control every single Sonos in the whole house. It's actually really cool. The next thing I have is Secret Free and this is the Starbucks app which basically gives you like all the secret recipes for the different like frappuccinos or iced teas or anything. It's actually really cool. Then I just have Home and then on the next page I have Random which is other stuff that I can't delete and then I have find friends and then find iPhone which is really good if you ever lose your phone because I lose my phone all the time my mom can just like do it and then on the bottom I just have app store messages and settings so yeah that's pretty much all that I have on my iPhone I don't have a ton but I still thought I'd show you guys what I have so again if you enjoyed this video do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you like my channel and yeah I'll see you guys really soon with a new video so bye